Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody and today I will be breaking down a pro offense. This is an offense that is run by one pl pro player in particular, you, you guys know him, Chaos. He has a great YouTube channel, great Twitch channel, I'm gonna put his stuff in the description. This is the offense that he's using. I don't have the subscription to hotbot.tips. This is not his ebook, uh, the way he's written it down. It's just what I've learned from watching him and I can only recommend you guys to watch him too. If you want to run this offense, you might just have to watch a couple of his videos. They're great entertainment. Go do that. And yes, let's get into it. Okay. The first thing is that I am in the Patriots offense. The Patriots offense might just be the most complete offense because it has the most good formations. The formations, they are better formations. Hmm. The bunch out of this is not great, for example, but it has bunch and a whole lot of other formations. I'm going to break all of these down. I already broke down a slot offset and ace close today we're gonna get into split close pads hey <clears throat> uh hi yeah i'm a trash to youtuber and so i forgot to ask you to like and subscribe the video of course of course but you guys already knew that also i'm gonna be streaming later tonight on twitch i'm gonna put a video up on youtube just know to be ready for that if you want to see me that uh, use that offense against people in mud seasons definitely make sure to check out the twitch link in my description should be fun see you later tonight hopefully and yeah have fun with the video the first thing that we want to do is we want to flick the right stick to the left one so that we get to the strong slot package this will then put a tight end at this spot right here and then we also want to sub in a wide receiver right here just so you know that's what has to happen and then you have three wide receivers on the field now the great thing about split close is however if you want to come out in any play this for this sake, uh, this doesn't matter. And your opponent, you come out in uh, split close and your opponent comes out in something like Big Dime. You can audible down into heavy running sets, such as maybe Strong Pro and you want to maybe run Halfback Dive. Then, you, then what I would recommend you to do is motion in a wide receiver. Do that. And snap the ball right there. And you can pick up a lot. Pick up a lot of yards. In this case, I had a chance at the touchdown. If my running back had been faster. But you get what I'm saying. This is very good because you can punish people if you want to pay, play uh, pass defense. And if they want to play run defense or come out in something like 3 for odd. You have 3 wide receivers on the field that are really going to make it tough for your opponent. Uh, to play pass defense out of a run heavy, set, uh, run heavy defense now. Let's talk about the audibles that we want to go with. The audibles that we want to go with are, let me go on the screen. Extract Trail, that is a very good play. HP Power O, Mesh, and PAY Shot. The first play that I'm going to break down is this PAY Shot because it is that good. This is basically the money play of the formation. It is if you need big chunks of yardage. And I'm going to come out in Big Nick Global G to show you how to do that now. First off, you're going to block the running back. That is on the play action because we do not want the play action we're gonna streak thomas put jones on his slant and what i would recommend you to do is i would chop block um to the right side meaning that i would double team this guy and id the mic on him now we're cl gonna click on to julio jones and motion him a couple of steps out then snap the ball while he's motioning and then we can either throw the slant route or the crossing right now when do we want to throw which ball? The read is what you what the opponent's user is gonna do. If the opponent's user decides to drop back to the crossing route, we can throw the slant with a low pass, which is basically a guaranteed lay down, so your wide receiver is not gonna get hit. Just make sure you low pass it. How do you low pass? While making a bullet pass to whichever receiver we want to low pass to, hold L2. L2 just like this, and he will throw a low pass throw it low to the ground give your receiver a chance to catch the ball and immediately fall down to not get hit stick now very important the other thing that you then can do if your opponent uh has caught on to you wanting to throw to slant then of course this crossing route gets open it's absolutely open tom Reed just overthrew it but you see that this gets open now the most important thing is that you want to throw the slant. You have to train yourself to not look for the crossing route. As soon as you see the slant, take it. Because it's very likely that your opponent doesn't want to give up the crossing route. Which means that's usually what is going to go guard. Just know that and be willing to hit the slant. That's the most important thing. 
I was a bit too late on my throw there. Let's start it again. Just like that. Beautiful. Now, this is of course not the only great thing out of this. Or the only great play out of this. We want to go to Extract Trail. That is the second play that we want to go to. And it is very good for a couple of reasons. Sorry, I just have my notes down here. So I don't repeat myself over and over again. Now, the first step that we want to go to with, uh, want to go with is we're going to hitch Hopkins. We're going to block the running back on the side of Hopkins. We're going to flat route Julio Jones. We're going to put Marshawn Lynch on a wheel route now. Then we're going to do the same motion snap that we did for uh, PAY shot. And now we have two options. We can either throw this to the running back, which Tom Brady again overthrew. But you see that he was open. Oh no. Um, just like that. Or we can wait. And if the opponent user chooses to guard the running back, we can then throw the post route with the pass lead down. That wasn't even that great of a pass lead. But you still see it still got open now. Um, I'm going to show it to you one more time. The only read on this play is what is your opponent's user going to do. If he chases the wheel route, then we're of course going to throw it. And in the case that he chases the post route, we're going to throw the wheel route. Uh, yeah, really easy. Now, this is one of the toughest plays to guard because both of the post and the wheel route beat man coverage and no zone is going to guard it. So it really is up to your opponent's user to either guard it or it is up to your opponent to send pressure. Just know that this can get beaten by pressure. One of the ways uh, that you can combat, combat somebody that's somebody that's sending a lot of pressure at you while running this play, uh, let's switch to main coverage, is you can, as soon as, soon as you see a man blitz coming, just throw the hitch right there, possession catch it, go down, that's five yards, a hitch is a route that has to be used it as well, because you can throw it right after it breaks, main coverage is not going to uh, keep up with now the next setup that i want to go with are actually three setups now you just said one setup it's one setup basically it's a cover three beater and you can set that cover three beater up multiple ways the first way to do it is to block both halfbacks very important in this offense don't max protect block both halfbacks individually then you can hitch hopkins and that's basically the cover three beater i will then roll double team like this just like that so that I can roll out to the left. In this case, it didn't quite work. But you will see that the post route gets sort of open. It's not the most open you can get. There are two more ways you can set this up. First of all, once again, black both uh, running backs. Hitch Hopkins and then motion times across to make sure uh, this then acts as sort of sort of as like a corner out. And then you will be able to that is really weird. Why that is not working, I have no idea. I'll set that up again because that should work. <clears throat> Let's try that thing again. Black both halfbacks individually. You can also drag Hopkins for that setup if you want to. Just like that. Roll out to that side. And you will see that... Even though I had to scramble and Tom Brady isn't the quickest. You see that the post route got open. And there's one final way you can beat this. Which is once again extract trail. Block both running backs. And then I would just put these, uh, put Hopkins on a post. Or no, a corner. And put Thomas on a wheel just behind it. The post route is going to get open just the same. Let's see if I got the protection down. I do. Throw it. And Julio Jones isn't even the quickest in this game. For some reason Julio Jones is not that fast. But you see that he did get open plays against cover three. This POI shot, the cross, crossing run gets over any zone. Any zone. It's open against any zone. This is basically the place you want to run first before you know and before you know anything that your opponent is doing. Then when you kind of picked up that your opponent likes to run a lot of cover three, uh, then you want to hit him with the cover three beater, obviously. Don't come out in this play the first time. Because your opponent, you might not know. If your opponent is in a cover two, this is not the greatest play against that. Now, just be aware of that. And this, uh, the first setup of the extract trail. This set of setup is great versus any coverage. I can run this against the cover two. And you will still see that the post gets open. Just like that. You can also throw the wheel rod right there. So the PAY shot setup and the setup right here uh, for extract trail with the wheel. Great ways 
to attack both cover 3 and cover 2. Um, yeah, just like that. And you will see that the post charge is going to get open along the sidelines. Tambay is just to go through it. But just know that these, great, these, these, are the, these are the plays that work against both cover 3 and cover 2. We're now going to get into a bit more specific way of beating cover 3, which is this mesh. And all you want to do is you want to flat both Hopkins and Jones, block the running back on the two wide receiver side, motion Jones out, and this is the first read, the flat route. You are going to read, if you're running this against the cover 3, this is great. Against the cover 2, not that great. So this is strictly for cover 3. You're going to read this cornerback. And what you're going to try to do is you're going to, as soon as that cornerback drops back, you're going to pass it to the flat. You're going to take it up for a couple of yards. This works against any cover three. Hard flats, cloud flats, doesn't even matter. This is going to work for you now. Be aware of the fact that the outside wide receiver on this play is not circle, it's X. So as I do that, beautifully see that I can get a couple of yards there. Of course, against hard flats, it's not going to be that great. What do we do, what do, we do against hard flats? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. Let's cover three hard flats. Look at this. This is, this is how that defense looks. Against cover three hard flats, we can throw this corner out. Jesus Christ, Brady, make, make a pass, dude. You saw it was open. You could low pass it to be even more safe. But what I would recommend you to do is always look at the user. That is the first thing that you want to look at. If, you, if your opponent's user drops to the right, then throw the wheel route, and if your opponent attacks the wheel route, uh, then throw the corner route. But the first read should always be this flat route. You can get a lot of yards on it now. Let's actually flip the script, and let's get into the last play of this, which is wide receiver corners. Now, wide receiver corners is great for a multitude of reasons. The one that I want to point out is that it is a good way of stretching cover three and cover two just the same. Wide receiver corners, that's how the play is. Uh, looks like and we're gonna start off with cover three just like that and the setup the setup works against both things uh, we want to streak thomas put jones on a hitch lynch on a blocking assignment and the rest of the play can stay the same if we now snap this ball this corner gets outside of a cover three and, and we can catch it pretty easily that is against cover three in the case that that corner out for some reason does not get open, we can throw a check down to triangle. <laughs> wild, wild. But you saw it was open. That's, that's the important thing. Now, against a cover two, for example, this play doesn't work that great because the corner out is not an option. But it, what is an option against cover two is either the hitch, oops, either the hitch or the streak. Depends on what your opponent is going to use it. Because he's not going to use the corner out because this is not this is not a great corner out against uh, cover two, but he has to use either the hitch or the um, or the um, either the hitch or the streak. And if he chooses to use the hitch, which we're going to pretend he is going to do in this uh, instance right here, I will show you that he can hit that streak up the seam. It's not it's not the greatest throw because it. It looks sort of covered. You can make that throw. It's not a throw that's going to be 100% of the time. But it is something that you can do. Of course, against cover three, it is just easy pickings with the corner out. And that is pretty much it. I want to remind you guys that I want to remind you guys that there is a power roll out of this. It is really good. There are a lot of things that I haven't broken down in this video just because I don't want, I don't want this video to be too long. There are a lot of setups. And there are a lot of setups to the other formations that I am going to do. Now, I'm going to release an ebook on this, a written down version of this. Every setup that I've labbed up or that, and that, and that I'm still going to continue to lab up is going to be in that document. Just give me a bit of time. I want to work that out. I want to bring to you guys a good product. I'm not going to break down every setup that I have uh, written down already. I have like 1,500 words already. It's a long document, and I want, don't want to make every video, video like 25 minutes long because that how long, that's how long it would take. Try to keep it short, around 50 minutes. That's about the max that I want to do going forward. Just know there's a lot more to this. I encourage you guys to try that out in practice mode. 
these are just some ideas and some general community setups. The most important thing is knowing that you can run the ball and knowing that you can audible down because that is really, that really is what makes this formation powerful. With that, I want to leave you with a thank, thank you. I'm very sorry for not uploading the last couple of days. I've been streaming over on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming over there tonight as well. Check that out. Link is in the description. I hope you take the time of your day to at least look if this is something that you're interested in. I'm going to show all of these offenses on stream. If you want to see me play some games, that obviously is the way to go. Want to grow my Twitch a bit? Go check out my Twitter. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or via Twitter. I hope to see you in the next video and hopefully later tonight on stream. Gonna be fun, gonna be playing some seasons, even some games against you. Should be a blast. See you there. Until next time.